horses. Yeah. I know, like you probably talking about saying that. I wanted to, though. You heard it in the spirit. I wanted to, but they'd be like, man, he's just tripping. Uh, you, know? <laughs> you know, I ain't going to say that. Because I'm trying to make sure we can stay safe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we need to be knocked off our high horse. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. As uh, it was said in the prayer. We need to be knocked off our high yeah. horse. We need yeah. to come. We need to have an encounter mm -hmm. yes. with God. Yes. And the only way it's going, you can do all your studying you want to. Come on now. Study, 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 study. study. Yes, yeah, you. You know, because I mean, most of us have a, a Bible that's more highlighted than. Then our life has changed. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, we waste more ink in our Bible than we're trying to live as a reflection of the living Word, becoming the incarnated Word, because that's the highest goal. We get introduced to scriptures. We introduce it becomes the foundational principle for why we live. But then all of a sudden, as we submit to God, yes. Give ourselves holy. Yeah. 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 We need to get there. Because if we don't, My God. the word dark and dimly is the word enigma. <laughs> so we'll live as an enigma in the earth. Yes. As a paradox. You can be in church for the rest of your life and never know him. Look at the San, the look at the Sanhedrins, the the Pharisees and the Sadducees. You know how many years they had church? How I many know how long? How long? It was fifteen hundred years before Jesus showed up. That system was in place for fifteen hundred years, and when the personification of what that whole system represented it showed up, they had a hard time with it. Sir, they wanted to catch him in his words because it didn't fit what they were exposed to dogmatically. So we live in an enigma. We live never, you know, understanding that, that, that God has an expectation for your life. He didn't just want to bring you out of darkness. He just didn't want to bring you to a place and put you in a pew and allow you to sit, just sit and pass time. He wants you to walk in wisdom to redeem the time because you discover the reason for your existence. That should be our journey. Before you look for the gift, before you try to figure out what's your portion in the ministry, you need to try to ask God, say, God, what is my... I want you see because when I, I want you to reveal to me who I am because I know as, as, I, as I begin to discover who I am in Him, myself worth goes to another level. That's why we need an epiphany. That's why we need an apocalypse. That's why we need an encounter. Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 3.18 says something profound. It's in the passage, in the passage, of the passion, not the passage. Actually, we can Let's go a little bit higher than 18. Everybody still say? <laughs> this whole chapter is profound because it, it, it gives you the dichotomy of two ministries. The minute, there's a ministration of condemnation, and there's a ministration of righteousness. And both of these administrations is, is in the church. Because they represent, one, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Ministration of condemnation. And the administration of righteousness is the tree of life. And it's the, that's, that's, the, that's another paradox that a lot of leaders have to have. We've got to figure out what, what end of the spectrum are we going to reside on? Are we going to vacillate and be double-minded as, as, as we have our orientation in God to be able to present to you guys uh, uh, the scriptures and certain spiritual concepts so that we can somehow put in our life. Look at this. It says, uh, let's go to 17. 
Because it's a whole bunch in here. Four, I can go to 14, talks about the veil done away with. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, go, go to six. Forget it. <laughs> six. Go to six. Yeah. Second Corinthians, third chapter, verse six. Amen. Amen. Who also has made us, what? Able, Able, Able ministers of the New Testament. Not of the letter. But of the spirits. See the dichotomy? Yeah. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. That's why you got to make sure what church you go to. Because yes, one of them going to be under the letter, the other going to be under the spirit. Amen. 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 But if the ministration of death, written and engraved in stones, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his covenant, which glory was done away, done away, done away, how should not the ministration of the spirit be rather glorious. Yes. They only had a preview. They put a hood over his head. When he came down, they couldn't look into that law. Right. Right. Because it pointed to something yes. that wasn't available at that moment. All right? Okay, for if the ministry or am I? Oh, for if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more than do the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. For even that which is was made Glorious had no glory in this respect, or in comparison to, by reason of the glory that excels. Yes. That's the glory we're in. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, a, we have a better covenant with what? Yes. Better promises. Yes. For if that which is done away was glorious, much more than that which remaineth is glorious. Mm -hmm. So we should be having glory. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yes. Seeing then that we have such hope. We use great boldness of speech, and not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look, into, look to the end of that which is abolished. He was transitioning them out of one system. They was on a system failure, and they still want to revert back to the old religious patterns. Mm -hmm. But what, this is what happens. But their minds were blinded. Mm -hmm. And if we still operate under rules and regulations, your mind will be blinded. If you still operate on the do's and don'ts, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. touch not, taste not, handle not, your mind's going to be blinded. That's why I talked about the veil coming off. Tell your neighbor, God wants your veil off. He wants to remove the veil. He, he did it. In his ascension, he removed the veil. He said, but their minds were blinded until this day. It's, until this day, they you got a whole group of people, the Jews, still don't believe that Jesus is the Messiah because they still operating on an antiquated system. Still today, we got people that are in churches waiting on uh, a temple to be restored because they still revert to an antiquated system. Still today, people are waiting on the pastor to do all the work. We still operating on an antiquated system. Because why? Because your minds are blinded. But the same veil I'm taking away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. Tell your neighbor that the veil is done away. In Christ. Man. Apocalypse. Oh, I'm going to move on. Remember that. The veil is done away in Christ. Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord was, there is liberty. Huh? But you better put the is in it. There's an isness in God. Now faith is. There's an isness. Now is the acceptable time. So there's an isness, right? Which was, which is to come. So we need to acknowledge his present role in this moment. Yes. Yes. Where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. But we all. Tell your neighbor, all of us. All of us. Tell them it ain't, it ain't it's everybody. It's everybody. Everybody. Yeah, everybody means all means everybody, and everybody means all. <laughs> but we, everybody, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, yes. are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit. Spirit huh? Spirit. Listen to the Passion Bible. Yeah. We can all draw close to Him with the veil removed from our faces. And with no veil, we all become like mirrors. Mm -hmm. 
who brightly reflect the glory of the Lord. Amen. See through, huh? <laughs> We're mirrors. That's right. We're supposed to be. I can float your boat and tell you the city that's coming down, the New Jerusalem, is transparent, crystal clear. And I would miss you up and tell you, you that's one. <laughs> the lack of transparency, the lack of submission, the lack of clarity, the lack of accountability is a sign yes, that you're not in that city. That's right. Oh, wow. Amen. 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 That's good. That's really good. He even tells us who's outside the city. Yes, God. Yes, God. Okay. I'm going to move on because it's not my message. Are being transfigured into this very same image as we move from one brighter level of glory to another. And this glorious transfiguration comes from the Lord, who is the yeah. Spirit. It's basically telling me in Moffat's translation, I got my own translation, it means that I don't have to look into the glory that's in the letter no more. That's what, would, that's what brings us to a place where we can have the veil lifted because we want that veil lifted, right? Amen. We want our understanding lifted, yes. a misunderstanding lifted, yes. so that we can have the mind of Christ, yes. so that we don't have a carnal mind. So we don't, if you don't have a carnal mind, you don't have carnal interpretations. Right, Lord. That's true. Right. Thank you, God. God wants us to be able to participate yes. in the wisdom of the ages. Yes, Lord. Not just hear about it. Right? Yeah. Not, not just continually be on the premises <laughs> and still sit on the promises. Yeah. But he wants these promises to be lived out. Yes. Yes. Lived out through you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Tell you never, yeah, that's you too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We got to gaze into the word. Yes. Not just the letter. Not just the old administration, but we got to allow that perfect mirrors that merges together word and spirit so we can have an accurate image. Because yes. when, when our image, when, when our interpretations or our perceptions get accurate, guess what? The image is going to be accurate. Mm -hmm. And if the image is right, the manifestation is going to be right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we can fulfill it said, as he is. So are we in the next world. Oh! When it, when it, where, in, what, in this world. Not the, one, not the next one. He's telling us now. Now. In this dimension. He want to bring us to a place that we can really experience him. 